Here's how you can add a weather widget into Notion. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is head over to this website, indify.co, and this is where we'll be creating our weather widget. The first thing you need to do is just sign up. You can sign up with your email address or your Google account. I'm gonna just use my Google account. Okay, so once you're all signed up, if you just scroll down to the Explore Widgets option and under Volume 1, you'll find our weather widget. So if you just click the button here, Create Widget. And the first thing we're going to do is just give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine Weather and click Continue. So here it will bring up the pre-made widget. You can customize a lot of the features on the widget, so I'll just show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is look at the weather location. So it automatically will pull through San Francisco. So you can just change that to your current location. So I'm just going to type in London. Next, you can select your preferred unit. So if you use Fahrenheit, select this option. If you use Celsius, select this option. I'm just going to select Celsius. Next, you want to choose the number of days that you want to show up. It'll automatically come up with five, but you can select from any of these options. So I'm going to select seven. So it's a full week's worth of weather. Okay, so if I just scroll down further, there are a few more options. So under the style settings, we have the animate icon. So this is currently set to be on. So as you can see on this cloud, it is animated. So you can switch that off here if you prefer for it to be stationary. I'm just going to keep it on because I quite like it. Then you have the grayscale icon. So if you select this, it will make the whole thing gray. So again, it's up to you if you prefer that. I'm going to keep it off. And under the set widget background color, if you toggle that on, you can actually choose a background color if you prefer. So under this option here, background color, you can pick a color for the background. So a range of different options. And there's also a color palette here if you want to select your own. So I'm just going to choose this gray background. You can also change the text color if you want. It's already set to a black color, but you can change it. So if you wanted, say, purple. You can do so it's really up to you it's very customizable and that's it so once you're happy with your widget you just want to click this button here and that is gonna copy the link to your clipboard so next you want to head back over to notion and just type in the slash button and then type in embed and you want to click on this embed block here then you want to just paste in that link that we've just copied and then click embed link so you just wait a few seconds it will pull through the widget You'll then want to just use these sidebars just to make it a little bit bigger. And there you have it. That is the weather widget. You can play around with the size as much as you want. You can make it smaller. You can make it go downwards if you want it at the side. You can really do anything you want with it. And that's it. That's how you can embed a weather widget in Notion.